Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you, dear conference participants, and welcome to the 2021 edition of the program Learn a Skill. I'm grateful to the organizers for the opportunity to share a little insight on the requirements of skill acquisitions. My name is Rita Zelenji Tone Sume, fondly called Mommy Reads, thanks to the YouTube channel Meaningful Five Minutes with Mommy Reads. I am Cameroonian born but Swedish based. I'm a trained and experienced conference interpreter, radio host, author, encouragement blogger, amongst many other things. And this morning, I'm going to be sharing with you, I mean you, don't look behind, a little insight, biblical insight, biblical requirements on skill acquisitions. And so I entreat you to sit back, jot down the lessons learned, and apply the lessons learned after the conference. The first point is the fact that there is a difference between talents and skills. Talents are inborn, they are God-given. But nevertheless, they can be harnessed, they can be honed, and they can be improved upon. Whereas skills are learned, skills require training, require effort to be able to get that which you don't already have. The second point is the fact that we are going to be using a Bible example in the person of Joseph. His story is told in Genesis 37 onwards. The story starts when he is 17 years, meaning that skills acquisition can be for the old and for the young. And so if you're below or at 17 years or even 40 plus, remember that life begins at 40. It is never too early or too late to acquire a skill. The third point is the fact that Joseph is not born in a noble family. Joseph is not born into royalty. What this means is that you should not allow your background or the kind of spoon that you are born with to discourage you if it is a poor background or to distract you if it is a rich background. The fourth point is the fact that you need to identify what you are good in, what you derive pleasure or what you have interest in so that you can be able to work on it. In Joseph's case, Joseph is honest. That is why Joseph is not tending the flock with his brothers. Joseph is going to check up on his brother and bring back accountability to his father. What this means is that he is not just accountable, he is also honest. Note what is the fact that we are not required to follow the crowd or to follow the masses, to do the things that they are doing without finding out whether it is actually what we are called to do. And Joseph is honest enough to give his father the report of what his brothers are doing. Some of us have forgotten that honesty is integrity. As one who is seeking to learn a skill, can you be taken for your word? As a technician, as a seamstress, as a whatever thing you are called to do, can your customers take you for your word? We also get to terms with the fact that the fact that everybody is doing wrong doesn't make it right. And the fact that nobody is doing right doesn't make it wrong. Joseph is not moved by the bad things that his brothers are doing. He doesn't join bad company. He stays honest and keeps his integrity. The next point is the fact that we need to be humble enough to learn. Most of us are too proud. We are too full of ourselves to learn that which we don't know or that which we need to improve upon. Joseph gets to Egypt at age 17 and gets into power as a prime minister at age 30. But he uses Potiphar's house and the prison to learn Egyptian language. That is why in Genesis 42, 23, he is using an interpreter, meaning he is speaking Egyptian, though he understands the Hebrew that his brothers speak. What this means is that if you find yourself in Cameroon, learn English or French, because those are the languages that will open doors for you as you seek to interact with your customers after acquiring the skill that you have acquired. The next is the fact that some skills need to be learned in school. If you look at the example of Paul in the Bible, he learns in Gamaliel school for three and a half years. But in Joseph's case, he learns in the school of life. He learns managerial skills in Potiphar's house and in the prison. And so you should not be the kind of person who only wants to sit in the classroom before learning that which you are supposed to learn. Grab every opportunity and learn something new. Also be considerate. Joseph is not the kind of person who is very money-minded or power-hungry. Some of us, we put money before everything, forgetting that one with people is greater than one with money. People management matters. How do you treat your customers? Even on a bad day, you need to still be able to put up appearances. That is what maturity requires that we do. Despite the fact that he is a prisoner, he is still able to identify the butler and the baker when their countenance is not the best. And so in the kind of places that we find ourselves, 
Consideration is necessary. We also need to be serviceable. Joseph is put in authority, but he is still hands-on. He is still doing the work that his master has assigned him to do. Don't relegate all the work to your apprentices. Be the kind of person who leads by example and not by explanation. Networking is also another point. Joseph needed the butler to be able to get announced to Pharaoh. So don't minimize or underestimate anybody because there is always somebody somewhere who has or knows something that you don't or that you need. The next is the fact that you should identify your target audience. Maybe your skill is not required in Kumba, in Dwala, in Limbe or wherever you find yourself. And so you need to move from your comfort zone to be able to meet your target audience. The same way that Jake, Joseph was able to move from Jacob's house. Sometimes you find yourself in a place where you are not bringing in any novelty. Everybody around you is sewing men's way or women's way. Bring in a novelty and sew children's way. And the last but not the least is the fact that you should enlarge your, co your coast. Don't limit yourself. With the advent of social media, advertise what you're doing. You never know. Maybe somebody in Belgium might want to order a cake in Cameroon. And because your profile is on Facebook or Instagram or all the social media platforms, that person might just reach out to you. And so don't limit yourself. Reach out because the world has become a global village. I wish you all a pleasant time in the 2021 edition of Skills Acquisition. Check out more of what we are doing on the YouTube channel, Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reads, and do have a blessed day. Shalom.